Air next to Gramps. Gramps, can you hear me? Come on, come on! I did not just dream you. I didn't, did I? We all heard your grandfather, Ant. Yes, not dreaming. Gramps, are you reading me? Over. Wait, but if it is a dream, no one in the dream would admit it. Thank me. You needed that. Definitely awake. Thanks. Sonar, something's out there. Oh, that explains why we can't hear them. They've drifted from this position. Should have a visual soon. Huh? No, that's too big. Way too big to be their sub. Or anything they could have made. I gotta see this. Is someone else in this family suggesting it's alien? It's not alien. It's a Nautilus. A Nautilus? The little shell creature? Yes, but this one isn't little. It's a monumental. If the radio signal came from here... And if we can't hear them outside, your grandparents have to be... Inside. My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectans, and we explore the deep. calling on all channels. Can anyone hear me? Still nothing. They must be inside it, Will. Why can't we come too? It's awake, Fontaine. Clearly awake. I'm sorry, it's just too dangerous. We laugh at danger. Well, I do. Fontaine just kind of pulls faces. See? If we have to go inside the creature... We're qualified. Been there, done that. Easy. And we need you out here as backup. Backup? We're front line! Ant, this is new territory. I'm not risking more people I love to find them. Understand? Oh, man! How are you gonna get in? Certainly not into that mouth. No chance of surviving that. But there are other places they could be. Any one of these craters? Or somewhere in the mantle cavity? Or under the hood? That's a lot to search. Sounds like you could use some backup. Nice try, Ant. Nature's perfect creature. Oh yeah, I remember. Gramps! Not a lie, get my vote for nature's perfect creature. Perfect? How? Perfect design. This shell is amazingly tough. Like underwater armor. I'll probably build myself underwater armor one day. <laughs> sure you will, Ant. Don't doubt him, Fontaine. If he's like your father, any doubt will just make him more determined. What would you even use underwater armor for? For, for underwater, underwater protection. protection. <laughs> now, this armor hasn't changed in 500 million years. It feels like your grandpa hasn't changed in 500 million years either. Doesn't make him perfect. <laughs> I miss them. Fontaine, and? We just found a crater. We're going to investigate. Copy that. Sonar isn't picking up anything unusual in here. And there could be hundreds of these holes. <sighs> We're not tense at all. Those Siri grabbed food. And if we're grabbed, we're done. I'll steer clear. All these openings, they could lead anywhere. Did you do that? No, 
There's a current. Pull it. It's dragging us in. It's the hypodome sucking in water. We need to get away from it. Giving it full power. It, it's not enough. We we can't. Gotcha. Great move, Ed. Huh. I'm warming up to this backup thing. I'm at full reverse here, and we're only just holding you. At least we're not moving any closer to... Ah! Hold on! Ah! The suction's just gone. Rover, this is Aranax. Can you hear me? That's it. The hypenome. It sucks in water, then expels... Belt up, quick! Sonar. Mom? Dad? Can you hear me? Mom? Dad? Come in! Aranax to Rover. Come in. Mom? Dad? Can you hear us? How can a creature that big just vanish? It didn't vanish. It's not magic. I don't think we can rule that out. It just moves really fast. How? It doesn't even have fins! When the hypenome blasts out water, it gives the Nautilus jet propulsion. Jet propulsion? Cool! It travels backwards. Look! Yes! That direction! I hope... Okay, lights are functional, air purifier operative. All systems seem to be normal, but we're minus an arm. And inside a monumental, again. Rover to Aranax. Rover to Aranax, do you read me? Over. The shell could be too thick to get a signal out. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. We may have gone too far already. A few degrees off and we never see it. How far could it go in one burst? You ask as if I'd know that. I'm perpetually hopeful. Sonar! Yes! Hey, I think I see something. Sonar reads two degrees to starboard. It's... something. Our monumental something? Totally our monumental! Aranax to rover. Aranax to rover. Are you reading me? Rover to Aranax, we're reading you. Are you okay? We're good. Are you okay? We're fine. Just in a very weird place. Will, look. That's an Eper. Looks like your parents' emergency distress beacon. We're not detecting a signal from it. The battery is probably dead. So if the Eper is there, then Gramps and Grandma were sucked into that hyponome too! Yes. We could be close. That wall. It looks a lot closer than it was. Are we drifting? No. It's moving towards us. Fast. Can we outrun it? We can try. Ah! Mom! Dad! You okay? Rover! Come on, talk to me! Backup time? Let's do it. Stay here, Jeffrey. You're our backup. You're right. You're no one's backup. You're front line. Come on, buddy. We have to avoid the Siri. Uh, funny way to avoid them if we're heading straight at them. It's okay. Nautilids are opportunistic feeders. Like me? Sure, but quieter. They catch slow-moving things. Go faster. At top speed, we'll be through before the Siri can react. You sure? Fontaine? You sure? All this is one big muscle. Imagine a flexible bladder that draws in all this water. Try to rock us free. Come on! 
Okay, we're moving slightly. Excuse me? That was the backup, arriving just when you needed us. Excellent. Glad to see you. Even though we didn't actually call for backup. Good backup anticipates your needs. And you need us, right? We definitely do. Push! Getting there. Again. Yes! Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> Great job! I'll keep some distance from that wall. The wall that just goes on forever. Something metallic ahead. Metallic? That sounds promising. Submarine! It's them! <gasps> oh. Okay, their sub's a mess, but that doesn't mean... Well... I hope they're okay. Mom? Dad? This is Will. Can anyone read me? <gasps> Did you see that? I definitely saw something. Will? Dad? It sure is. Give me that thing. Will, I'm here too. Oh, Will. Oh, yes. right. Talk. I want to hear your voices. Mom, are you both okay? We're a lot better now. Well, define okay. You sound great. And you're here? Fontaine? I'm here. We wouldn't miss this reunion for the world. It's been so long. You know, we've been in here for four months. Ever since we left Lemuria. I knew we'd find you! We knew you would too. Never gave up hope. We're okay for now, but every time this creature moves, we get banged around. I don't think our old sub can hold out much longer. Yeah, I'd say we got here just in time. But how do we get you out? Not easy. The airlock hatch is broken and rusted shut. I'll try to loosen it. Okay, there's no way out there. I see you have an escape capsule. Yes, but the ejection mechanism is broken. We can't use it. So we have to breach the hull. Have you got scuba gear? Sorry, Will. Our air tanks were in the forward section when it got crushed. We can't breach the hull. Well, this sub's not moving on its own. Then we move it. If we pull this up free, then we can all push it out. That's a great idea, Ed. It is. Everyone grab something solid. We have to do this gently. One, two, three. Stop! This thing is too fragile. There's a hole in Section C. We know. It's okay. We sealed it off. We're in Section D now, but the bulkhead has a small leak. You should move through the cargo bay to the battery room. We're on to it, Ed. Right. We're gonna try again. Everybody, one, two, three! I felt that. We moved. Yes! Gently does it. Oh no, I'm feeling a current! The water pressure is rising. The monumental's going to move again. I don't know if our sub can survive that. We need to get you out of here now. Everybody, get into position to push. Pressure's still rising. It's drawing water in. Then let's go. <laughs> I think 
you should move to Section G. It's stronger. You're in my mind. Moving already, Ann. Everyone, we need to keep accelerating constantly. Yes, we have to be going as fast as we can to get past the Siri. We're moving at 10 knots now. Keep accelerating. Hey, did you find any of the clues we dropped? We did. In all parts of the globe. Very confusing. Fifteen knots. Keep moving. We've tracked this Nautilus's movements across the globe. There's a pattern. You can tell me all about the pattern as soon as we're out of here. It looks lighter ahead. Head straight for the center. We need to get out now. Twenty-five knots. Keep accelerating. Jeffrey? Can you hear something? Guys! Down here! Quick! What's that? The escape capsule. Looks like the flotation system was damaged. Did they make it in? I don't know. Let's go. Please. Please. Mom! Well... Underwater armor for underwater protection. Good call, Ant. Knew you'd make it, Gramps. <laughs> Dad never gave up searching. Of course he didn't. He's a Necton. We find what's lost. Huh? Aunt, who's this? This is Jeffrey, arguably the most important member of the family. He was the one who found you. Thank you, Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Everyone? What's that? Oh, you need to see this. It's back. And it's beautiful. Listen, in Lemuria, we deciphered a legend. Lemurians believed a key to the sea could balance the oceans. How could one thing balance the oceans? No idea, but we think the Nautilus is trying to find this key. It's been moving with purpose all over the world. Is that the pattern you mentioned? Yep. <gasps> Look. Oh no, not again. It's 
vanished again. We have to find it. How? We have no idea where it went. Unless someone put a tracker on it. Fontaine, you did? Initiative, right? Brilliant! That's my granddaughter. Awesome! So let's find that key to the sea. Reunited Necton family? Set sail. Hey, that's my line. Mine first. No way. Been doing it for years. Uh, okay. Hey, wait. How about we say it together? You're on. Reunited Nectons? Set, Set sail! sail. <laughs> <laughs>